Ladies and gentlemen, welcome today to the Delica. Not the usual Delica, but this is the Delica Dome Blackout with Red Rosen. It is an exclusive that is only available and almost nobody can get this because they're so hard to get. Let's go ahead and check this out. What is the difference between this one and a normal Delica knife? Let's find out. They're almost identical in every sense of the way, but this special edition lettuce version is as if camouflage you like the black and red ooh this looks so good the second biggest difference is going to be the following and what it is it's the blade itself now you can see right here this is the blackout blade but there was a big difference between both of them this one has those edge so we get edge to it this one does not primarily this is probably the only difference between them everything else that being equal is all identical they're both delicas. But this one is a sprint run version of the delica. In case you don't know what is a sprint run, it is an exclusive limited edition version that comes up and they make them for some of the suppliers that they make for the knives. So some of the shops carry a specific sprint version of it and it, it is just exclusive to that specific shop and if you don't get that version of this knife tough work to you because no longer they make them that's it once the run is over and done with that's it you can't get any more of those so this is one of those I really like this it's as if it is camouflage but it is red and black version of the camo instead now you might be thinking how did I cut myself this has nothing to do with the knives <laughs> it was actually my dog who bit me <laughs> in case you want to know and this knife it's beautiful oh yes it is pretty now you might ask hey how did you did that small pug bit you remember one thing never go between a pug and his food remember that forever once a pug gets his food don't touch it now let's get down to size check it out exclusive version talking about around seven inches long the handle itself is about four and this one is about three inches the actual blade itself is only 2.5 of an inch so the delicas don't sport as long of a blade as the para paramilitary has three inch of a blade itself which is pretty huge the paramilitary three got a three inch blade the paramil paramilitary two got actually beyond the legal size which is three and over here which is almost like a four inch blade we are talking about for the paramilitary too which is not a legal size so what is a legal size pretty much it's pretty much three inches it's as long as your hand just like that and is this legal size looking at the hand yes this is the legal size in the United States you can carry this on you 
it is totally allowed for you to carry. Anything longer than this is not. So anything longer than a 3 inch blade is not legal. This is also legal size as well for you to carry. This knife is almost the same, but after you look at all the blackout version, yes, this is cool. <laughs> but this is just so much cool. Yeah, I like the all black version, but when you see this, oh, my mouth is watering on this one. It is just beautiful, exceptional. You can see it right here. And I'm showing you up close and personal how beautiful this design actually is. And there was such a big difference. This is just black, and this is actually a very beautiful version. The way it looks, just awesome. So, in case you didn't get a hold of this, you want to buy one of those, and you can't find any of those, there's going to be a link right down below where you can get my exclusive version, and I'm going to be posting it on sale in case somebody you know who wants it want to check it out so i have not used this at all it is in mint perfect condition i'm not going to do any testing with this knife because why should i it's the same knife as this one so if you want to see testing what this knife can do let's find out it's the same thing as the delica same knife Look how sharp this thing is. Wow. Totally sharp. And why is the black version so good? I just cut something with it and it doesn't show the blade. Nothing. No evidence of me cutting. Now, even this, this part, cuts excellent. Surrogate edge is cool. But you don't need the surrogate edge to cut things and to gut things with it. Look how it guts things. Whew. This knife is just amazing. Its power is unbelievable. It's a small knife, but it is a beast of a knife. Whew. Still, nothing on the blade. It doesn't show any damage. And that's what you're buying this for. And like three Salmi knives, you're buying this for one purpose, and it does it well. This is not jack of all trades and a master of none. Everything is being made and done with this blade. This is where the money maker is coming from. This is why this thing is so expensive. The blade is legendary in this knife. What else is legendary is the one hand unassisted opening that is available in this knife as well. That's what I'm talking about. The way you open this is just amazing. One finger, unassisted, opening. This is why people are getting the spider codes. You can't do this with a Swiss Army knife. You can't do this with so many knives. This is why it sports this big loop here. Put your finger right there, snap it open. Not only you can do this easily, it's not gonna damage your hand. Another reason here is when you press on here and you wanna cut, this also gives you a very good grip as well. So overall, I'm gonna give this thumbs up. Thumbs up reason because this is amazing knife. Thumbs up again. And this gets a whipping. Yes, perfect. 10 out of 10 stars. And if you want to ask me any question about this, make sure you post a comment right down below and I'll try to answer it. And as always, if you did enjoy the show, we'll see you again in another episode of the Geek Tech Show. Well, you never know what is the next thing being reviewed or shown in this channel. Thank you.